Hey guys, at BV Manson here, and today I want to start tackling some real corroded aluminum. All right, we're going to hit this side cover. We're going to dive in and show you how you clean these up. All right, uh, this looks pretty crusty. All right, uh, you know, it's in bad shape. There ain't no doubt about it, but I'm telling you, it doesn't take much to get these things to rock and roll. You're going to need some wet dry sandpaper and you're going to need a bunch of different increments um this just starts at 800 then it goes to a thousand twelve hundred fifteen hundred two thousand twenty five hundred um i'm going to try and get it going with the 800 tonight and we'll see if we can break through some of this and do a good job uh, sometimes you do have to start with a four and that can really kind of lengthen the process you're also going to need some water, all right? Just a small little bucket of water is gonna help you out. And when you're sanding aluminum, wear gloves. Uh, this stuff is nasty. Um, it leaves a gray, nasty film all over everything. So I highly recommend um, that you do that. Uh, wear gloves, okay? So this is kind of kicking off kind of a big moment. So cheers to the 1972 CL350. We're gonna try and make aluminum shine again very very simple let's get into our sandpaper on the back of each one of the pieces of sandpaper is the grit number so i don't have a whole lot to work with so i'm just starting out with a small piece today you're going to need a ton of sandpaper all right i would recommend also that you just buy in bulk buy in bulk on those on the sandpaper because you're going to go through so much of it so i'm just going to rip this Ah, rip it in about a third and I'm going to fold it over and then what we're going to do is we're going to take our water and we're going to lay that in the water all right get it nice and wet you're going to go through a lot of this and what we're going to do is we're going to make our first passes on this I'll try to stay below the uh try to stay below the logo how about that all right and all I can tell you guys is you got to be patient and you got to you know, just stay the course. So we're just going to start hitting it. Circular motions. You can already see, you know, it's starting to come free. You're going to need a ton of elbow grease on this, okay? Just work it. Small circles and start working it. Again, we're using the 800 first. And then we're going to work our way up. All right, we're just going to keep working it dedicate a ton of time um you know honestly this is the most time consuming part of working on these bikes is the polishing stage and the cleaning stage all right you just you have to put the time in i don't think that there's any there's no way around it you got to put the time in on the parts so we're gonna hit this just keep hitting it keep hitting it keep working it i might switch to time lapse mode we'll see how it goes let's give it a wipe and already you can start to see we're making improvements but we got a long ways to go because honestly guys this stuff it can shine like a mirror again okay i'm i'm not joking um i could show you some pictures from the cb350 of just the the transformation that happened with these parts um, was 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 incredible. So we're just gonna keep hitting this circular motions. Try it, you know. You just watch that metal. You'll see it starting to come out. Wipe it with the rag. Okay, we're getting there now. Again, it looks better, but we ain't even close yet. All right, we are not even close yet. We got a long, long, long ways to go. So I'm just going to keep hitting it. Keep working these edges. Looks like I got a real nasty ding in this cover. So there's a character piece on this bike for sure. She uh, fell over on her side pretty hard one day. Um, all right, I think perfect time to switch over to time lapse mode and uh, just keep going with it. Let's see you know, what we can do here. And I'll keep track on the clock, how long I'm working on this too, just to give you an idea of uh, how much time you're gonna need to set aside in order to make this stuff work. 
And as you're working these parts, man, you're gonna start feeling it. <laughs> I ain't kidding. You're gonna start feeling it up in your wrist. You're gonna start feeling it down in your thumb, your index finger, because you're putting some serious pressure on this. I mean, we're trying to cut through 40 plus years of oxidation probably. Um, and it takes some work and it, <laughs> you just got to keep persevering through it. So uh, just be prepared for the burn. Um, after you do it for a while, uh, you're going to be able to plow through it. But it's been a little while since I've done this much polishing. So I'm already feeling it up in here that, uh, I don't know if it's carpal tunnel or what it is, but you can already feel it. So we're just going to keep working this bottom half and we'll see how good we can get it tonight. Little note on this, man. Just keep dipping your paper, wiping your paper down, because you, you, you're going to get little granules in your sandpaper, and you can actually start to scratch the surface um, while you're sanding. Um, this is a 800 grit, so it's it's going to leave scratches. Okay, it's just kind of part of the deal. Um, but if you start to feel a little roly poly going on underneath your sandpaper, stop and clean the sandpaper. All right. Um, I just had like a major, major flashback. The smell <laughs> of sanding aluminum like this, man, it just like hit my nose. And it was like, oh yeah, that's that smell. <laughs> that smell um, is uh, something you won't forget. Definitely has a, has a unique flavor to it. Um, so we're just gonna keep working this. And as you can see, let's wipe it here real quick. Look at our rag already, you know, just getting nasty. Now, I hope you can see this, but can you see? We've got just little scratches in that, right? Don't worry. Keep going, okay? Keep going. This is actually, I think, just water or something on there. A little dry, yeah. Keep going. We're going to keep working it a little bit more with this 800, and uh, we'll take it to the next step here in just a second. Yeah, there's no easy way <laughs> to do it. It just takes time. And you can see your paper is gonna start to wear out after a little while. Once it starts to wear out, you gotta just switch to another piece of paper. There's no way around it. You know, I've been working at this maybe, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes now, and I'm already through one piece of paper. And we've only attacked this one, you know, piece. Um, <laughs> this one section of one piece. Now, let's take a break for here real quick. So you're seeing how this process is rolling and you start seeing how it's starting to shine up. Uh, we got a long ways to go, but let's take a quick break here. And again, this is why you wear gloves, man. Look at how nasty this stuff is. And it, it doesn't want to come out of your hands at all. Uh, let's take a look at all the different parts that you're going to need to do this process on. Yeah, I'm not kidding, man. So not only do you have to go through all of the side covers, there's some real estate here in some real trouble spots. But then you also got to deal with the wheels. Don't forget about the wheels. This is all aluminum too. This is all going to need to come apart. And we're going to have to clean all of this, you know, minus the hardware. But this will all come apart. We'll take that apart in another video. So you got your front and your rear wheel. This is the process. It takes so much sandpaper. Buy in bulk. <laughs> and then you got to do your forks. Forks are aluminum as well. And look how crusty those are. We're gonna make those shine, all right? So you are gonna spend a ton of time polishing aluminum, all right? So you gotta get good at it and you gotta set a lot of time aside. I mean, <laughs> I should just keep track of how much polishing of aluminum that, that I do on this. I should just start a clock because um, these are a lot of parts, and it's a very involved, long process. So let's get back to the other cover we're working on, and eh, let's move to the next sandpaper grade. So we got our work cut out for us. I mean, this is probably, you know, a month, you know, doing this stuff. So I'm going to go find my thousand, okay? I actually feel like I'm rushing this just a little bit, but I don't want to... And I want to show you the process here, and we're already making awesome progress. So, rip it into a third. I'm gonna fold it. Again, this is my 1,000. Went from 800, now we're at 1,000. And guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna start sanding it. 
we're gonna start sanding it some more. All right, and uh, circular motions. You're gonna see little scratches in what you're doing, but don't worry, okay? It's all gonna come out in the end. What you need to do is just get yourself down to nice, clean aluminum, all right? So we're just gonna keep working. I've got a little scratch here I gotta spend some time with, so let's go back to time-lapse mode. One of the tips that I picked up um, on the first bike was that when you're sanding, okay, when you're using this stuff, it's getting nice and wet again, never go like this with the sandpaper. Never in this direction with your fingers this way and pushing this way. Because what you're really doing is you're putting pressure down in two spots and you're actually, you're actually creating grooves in the metal. So really just never go like this, okay? Always circular motions or against with the flat side of your hand. Because if you start going like this, you're gonna start putting grooves in it. You can already see, like look, see how you can already see that? You can you see that line? See how I went all the way across that? That's gonna be tough to get out, right? So if you do circular motions, you're not gonna groove it. So um, quick little tip, man. Learn the hard way on that one on the first one as well. But never, ever, ever be pushing straight out with your sandpaper. Circular motions or side, side to side like that, okay? Circular motions are gonna work out better for you in the long run though. You can kind of tell when you're getting close to moving up a grade when it just kind of starts to feel like glass, all right? You're not really making much of an indent, not making much of an impression. Um, just starts to get real, real liquid smooth, okay? Um, I'm gonna actually keep going on this because I do have, wipe it off again, keep wiping it. Keep, you don't wanna be pushing material back in it. I do have, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but I do have some little nicks in here that I want to get out right on the edge. And I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get that little nick out of there. That's going to be tough. I'm going to have to go pretty deep on that. Um, so I'm going to just, again, rip my sandpaper into a third and get it nice and wet. Okay. I'm just going to kind of attack some more of this and, and just keep going. Again, I'm, I'm with a thousand yet. I'm only on a thousand. I've got like three or four more grades to go. Um, you can definitely see scratches right there's scratches in there but again look at where we started okay we're working on it we're gonna keep going all right let's keep going all right let's give it a little wipe see where we're at all right so we got some scratches in it but again we're only on 1,000, so let's take a look at that, okay? That's where we're at so far. Got a little ways to go. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go grab our 1,200, okay? Now we're gonna move to 1,200. You really have to take this incrementally. Hey, another thing I should mention, when your water starts to get real dirty, time to switch out the water. Let's do that. All right, we got ourselves some fresh water. And guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna start sanding. Each time you change this grade, you're gonna, this uh, grit sandpaper, you're gonna be able to feel it. And as you do it for a while, you're gonna be able to start to see it. And that's kind of fun when you get to that point. So back to time-lapse mode. All right, so we're getting down there. This is feeling really, really good. Once it starts getting to this really smooth state, you gotta be really, really on it as far as wiping material off and wetting the sandpaper, all right? Because again, you get one little granule in here and there goes all your progress. You're kind of back to square one. So again, as you're working your way through these grits, constantly be wiping this off. Go into our sandpaper, let's get that wet. And let's go right back into it. Right here, we're just hitting this part. We're gonna keep going on it. Just keep going on it, guys. Just go, dry it, wet it. Keep it nice and smooth, okay? Just keep going, we're gonna keep going on this.
All right, guys. Gone through the 1200 now, seeing a lot less scratches, and it's just gonna keep getting better and better and better. So we're through the 1200. We're gonna move over to the 2500, all right? So another piece, I'm gonna fold it up. And slowly but surely, this is all gonna straighten itself out. Guys, also keep in mind, I bought one of these packs, all right? One of these packs, I'm easily gonna use up all of this sandpaper on this one part tonight. On this, probably just this one part of this part. <laughs> all right, so it's a long game. So we're gonna start hitting this real gently. And here's where you really, you don't wanna be pushing like crazy at this point, because now we're trying to just smooth everything out, okay? We're at the 2500 stage, and we're just gonna keep working this, okay? Just nice and patient, man, okay? Just keep working it, circular motions. Try not to leave grooves. Try to keep things nice and clean as you're rolling on through it, and it should go pretty smooth for you, okay? Just gotta keep going. All right, let's give it a wipe. One thing to note as well is that stuff starts to go a lot faster. Uh, that first one, that 400 or that 800 that you start out with, you're gonna be working on that for a while. But as you work your way into the finer and finer and finer grit, it starts to go a lot faster. So here's where we're at on the 2500. Okay, that's looking pretty good. And we've still got another step to go here. All right, I think you guys are getting the idea. So that's the 2500. Now I'm actually gonna move to, I believe this is a 3000 pad. Um, it's a wet pad that you put in the put in the water, get it nice and soaking wet. And this is gonna probably take us to where we need to be, all right? And you're gonna barely even feel this thing doing anything. But it does some magic, let me tell you. Just gonna keep working it. And again, we wanna keep rotating this. I found that this works really good when you get it super wet, okay? Just don't be afraid to get in there. You're not gonna really scratch anything because literally it's just a very, very fine cloth. Um, had great results um, on the wheels. I did the wheels on the CB350 with this and I was impressed. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna buy some of those. So definitely get one. It's the same, same maker as this. Um, I, I think it's like a 3000 though. Um, and you can already see I ain't seeing no scratches in that right we're getting there let's keep working it with this and then we're going to get busy with a, a familiar friend that we've dealt with before on the channel but I'm going to take my time and do a really good job with this 3000 soft pad All right, I'm feeling pretty good about this. I think it looks pretty darn good. So I'm gonna give it one more wipe. Make sure it's nice and dry. All right, geez, look at that. Look at that difference. We haven't even hit it with any polish yet. Okay. And we're gonna go to old Colonel Brassy. <laughs> this stuff is amazing. Okay, drop a little bit on there. Probably got a little excessive there. One thing you do not want to do is Use a dirty rag, don't use a dirty rag, and we are not using steel wool on this at all. Only microfibers, and again, same things that we did before. Move your rag. Move your rag often. You do not wanna be pushing material into things, and it's gonna come off really fast, okay? Like we are getting into the micros on things. See, turn your rag you're gonna get really good at, at, at just one-handed like whoop whoop working your way through rags all right a little dip i'm gonna start working this real gentle i like to hit it with the kernel brassy just once there's a little bit of grit in in, in kernel brassy but i do find that it, it levels it out. We're gonna go back and we're gonna hit it with that pad again. But I do like the way that the Colonel Brassy kind of cuts through any kind of a last little layer that you might have going on. Like this thing is 
is really, really, really smooth right now. It feels really good. I'm just gonna put just a little bit more on here. Work down on the emblem end. Really, I'm not pushing very hard at all. Just small circular motions. And look, we're taking that aluminum material right off. Okay, got our microfiber. Working that around. Again, material's coming off. There's a, you can take a lot of material off on these. You don't have to worry about breaking through the other side. I'm sure it's happened to somebody, but it's never happened to me. Um, did you just hear that? It just started squeaking at me. That's pretty crazy. Okay, let's go back to this. Get this nice and wet. And let's just start working this a little bit more. All right, we're gonna keep working this a little bit more. Because this is, the, we're gonna go into some, some extreme polish next on this side cover. And we'll keep going. Let's keep going. All right, there we have it. Let's dry it off. <laughs> I love it when you can't see a freaking scratch in it, man. It's so satisfying to see that. Not a scratch in that. It's a little wet. I gotta dry it before we hit this next step. And we're gonna go to the Wizards. One of the best um, kind of finishing touches again is this Wizards metal polish from motorcycles. Comes in the bag. Showed you this stuff before. It's gonna go in the bag. I'm just gonna I'm gonna take just a little bit because we're just working on such a small spot today. That's probably all I'm gonna need um, to deal with this part. And then again, wrap it up really, really tight. You don't want it to dry out on you, okay? And what we're gonna do, I'm actually gonna take my glove off on this because my hands, my glove actually has debris on it, right? So I don't wanna be dragging my fingers across that. And I'm just gonna start working this in, just like this. And you're gonna see it start turning black. That is okay, that's not a bad thing. Just keep rotating the material. Keep working on it. I'm gonna keep working on this for a little while. All right, back to time-lapse mode, guys. All right, we're just kind of doing our final little passes. I did go and grab just a little bit more of that material. I was pulling a lot off. It actually started to turn kind of jet black on me. So I had to go grab just a little bit more. But let's just keep working on this a little bit more. Can, can't really overdo this stuff, I don't think because it is such an awesome polish. All right, all right. So what we're gonna do is uh, let this sit for just a second and then we'll wipe it right off. All right, so for this part, grab a brand new rag again, guys. Grab a fresh rag and let's wipe it off. Again, you don't wanna rub the material in. You just wanna keep rotating the rag Get all of it off. Microfiber towels are beautiful for this. And I tell you what, I can already see the tiles in my ceiling. <laughs> Bam. Not too shabby, huh? Yeah? There's the iPhone. All right, there's still residue on here. So we're gonna just keep working this, clean this up. And then one final step that I like to do on this, of course, I'm not, you know, I'm not even close to done with this. I gotta do the whole darn thing yet, but oh my God, look at that. Whew, that's awesome. <laughs> the fingers, ugh, the fingers, they're like, they're like spasming right now. It's crazy. Um, keep working that. And then just one last little step, guys. Once you do all this work, you, you, you need to, uh, protect it. So start waxing it. I wax my stuff pretty religiously because I put a lot of hours into polishing them and I do not want to ever see them fade into oblivion into this nasty black mess ever again. So I'm just going to go right on here. I'm going to protect it with some wax. Let that dry up and then we'll take a look at the final product. All right. Had the turtle wax on there. 
I think it's dry enough for what we're doing. I'm gonna have to come back and do this whole part again anyway. Again, I'm gonna wipe it off. And we're gonna see a hell of a difference in this part. And it's gonna be kind of a sign of where we're going, all right? There's a ton of hours <laughs> that go into doing this though, man. No, no joke. But oh my God, is it satisfying? Is this satisfying or what? There you go. You like that or do you like that? That's how it's done, ladies and gentlemen. Grits of sandpaper from, you know, I started at 800 today, which is good because I didn't leave anything that was too deep um, that I couldn't deal with. Um, worked my way, 800, 1,000, 1,200. I should have done the 2,000, but then I went to 2,500. Um, man, a little coat of Colonel Brassy. Oh, don't forget the uh, 3,000 pad. Um, and then again, guys, th I really think this stuff is the, is the magic sauce for sure. Uh, I, I do have to admit, guys, that I see a lot of people building up bikes and I see it when they paint these covers, they paint them black or they do something with them. Uh, you know, call me a snob, but I think they got lazy. I just don't think that they wanted to put the work in it. Again, aesthetically, it does look really cool. But man, on these old vintage bikes, there's no better feeling than bringing a part like this back. I mean, look at that. Look at, the, look at that difference, that little effort that we put into this. It's absolutely beautiful. So how do you, how are you doing this? <laughs> I'm obviously taking the long road. Um, takes a long, long time to do, but I'd love to hear in the comments how, how you're cleaning yours up and hopefully you're not just painting them. I'm just kidding. I, I, I do kind of think it's a little lazy, but um, actually I don't think it's lazy. I just think that you're missing a lot of opportunity to bring beauty back to an old part. Now, uh, just want to show you one last thing. Never give up guys. <laughs> Never give up because you have a lot of polishing of aluminum to do. You gotta do your forks. You gotta do your other covers, all right? These are gonna be, look at this crusty thing. It's almost like somebody painted it or something. You're gonna have to deal with this part. These little grooves, you're gonna be cursing. You're gonna be cursing everything in the world trying to clean around those. But trust me, it can be done. And then you're gonna have to move into these wheels, all right? You're gonna need to move into these wheels and then you're gonna have to do the wheels. And uh, it's a big job, man. It's uh, no joke. But again, we're gonna make these things look brand new again, all right? You just gotta believe, you gotta stick with it, you gotta put the time in, and you gotta buy bulk sandpaper, <laughs> okay? buy bulk you're gonna go broke if you just buy these little packs all right here's what a little down here guys got all these these parts primed and ready to go got them out of the sand blaster we're making progress but there's something pretty damn cool about that too isn't there very cool guys if you're enjoying the videos please subscribe follow along at bv matson on instagram and twitter we'll see you in the next video thanks for watching